Hello. This is Hallie Bridgman, and we're continuing our series on how to do a whole food, real food Thanksgiving and how easy it is. And so I would like to kind of be a little bit transparent and tell you that all day, this is Thursday, I have guests who are arriving in my home in two hours and, who, and more guests who are arriving in my home in three hours to eat Thanksgiving dinner. And I have been under like serious attack. Like, like you have no idea. And my tripod broke on my camera. Um, my grain mill died. My grain mill died. I, I grind wheat and I grind corn and I grind all the grains that we need to make food in my house. And on the day I'm preparing Thanksgiving, my grain mill died. So Greg and I prayed and then he went to the store and he bought me organic unbleached flour. I'm going to use this. I have only ever made bread with it once. Um, so please pray. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You're getting this in hindsight. Please know that this meal has been prayed over probably more than any other meal I've ever prepared. I'm going to use my normal recipe. I'm going to make it the way I always make it. And hopefully it will work with white flour. Hold on, I forgot an item. So this recipe is from a place called Bread Beckers. It's the place in Atlanta, Georgia, where we get our grain. And I love Bread Beckers. And I wish that they were my next door neighbors. It's like my favorite place. If I lived in Atlanta, Georgia, they would know me by name. Um, and they teach classes on how to cook real food. They teach classes on cooking with whole grains. And they have amazing cookbooks. So if you want to find a resource to start with that's not Hallie the Homemaker, go to Breadbeckers. Breadbeckers.com. All right. I'm doing a third of a cup of butter. Now, like I said, this is my normal recipe that I use with fresh ground, hard wheat. I have no idea what it's going to look like with uh, white flour. But I'm at the point that that's okay. All right, so to this, I'm adding a third of a cup of honey. I have a crystallized honey, a dried honey that I use for making bread uh, so that my moisture content stays consistent every time I'm making it. I'm going to add a tablespoon of yeast to my honey and butter and then I have two tablespoons of lecithin that I'm going to put in. Lecithin is a, uh, it bonds with the proteins and I think that with the white bread it's probably a really good idea to put the lecithin in it. Two tablespoons of lecithin. You can use any lecithin. I use soy, an organic soy, non-GMO, and a half a cup of flaxseed. Flaxseed is a great protein. It can be used in place of egg. If you were baking something and you didn't have any eggs, if you had three, if you had a tablespoon of flax, ground flax, and three tablespoons of water, that's the equivalent of an egg. All right, we're going to put in two teaspoons of salt. And four and a half cups of flour. I weigh my flour when I measure, when I, instead of measuring, I weigh. Oh, it's too heavy. All right. Let me grab a bowl. Again, like I said, attack, 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 attack. Now my brain is gone. There's seven ounces. All right, there we are. Four and a half cups. All right, and to that, I'm going to add a cup and a half of water. that I'm putting this into a bread machine pan. I used to make bread with my KitchenAid mixer and a bread hook and I burnt out a motor and then because I make a lot of bread and then I replaced that motor and 
and I made bread mostly every day and I burnt out that motor and so we finally decided that we would use a bread machine because that motor is designed to knead the dough of bread every day. So I am not baking this bread in the bread machine. I am simply utilizing the motor of the bread machine to make the dough form. So this is going in the bread machine and you can actually mix all this stuff and then hand knead it like 10 minutes until you get a good elastic dough and then let it rise for an hour. All of that's gonna happen for me in the bread machine. So I'll be back when it's time to form the rolls.